This is Faith Encouraged with Father Barnabas Powell. Homilies designed to help you live a purposeful and faith-filled life in Jesus Christ. Here's Father Barnabas. There's a great story from Imperial Russia when Katarina was the Tsarina in Holy Mother Russia. It happened that a soldier was standing in a wide courtyard. Nothing was around him, but he was standing at sharp attention on this one spot. And the people around the area had come to see this soldier standing in this spot every day for months, even years. And the people around the area simply expected to see the soldier standing in the middle of this courtyard, actually not quite in the center, off to the side a bit. And finally a visitor to the area asked, why is this soldier standing here? And the people of the village looked at one another and said, we don't know. Why is this soldier standing at sharp attention? And why has he been doing this for months, even years? We don't know. Finally, one of the oldest members of the village remembered the story. You see, years before, the Tsarina Katarina had visited that village. And it was in the springtime. And creeping up through the stones of that courtyard was a beautiful wildflower. And the queen had given orders Post a guard here. I don't want that flower trampled upon. And she had never rescinded the order. And so years after the flower was nothing but a memory. Why, most of the people, in fact, 99% of all the people around there couldn't remember why that soldier was standing there. The truth is, not even the soldier himself remembered why. And yet... In full obedience, he stood at that spot, and guard after guard, year after year, was changed out to make sure that they followed what the Tsarina had said. Well, I tell that story simply because it's a powerful reminder to us that it's easy to forget our why. It's easy to forget our purpose. In fact, for most of us, we will live our entire lives and not understand the purpose of our lives. I'm convinced that until we understand our purpose, we will be on a consistently wrong path. If we forget our why, we will consistently lose our way. And we'll answer that question, why am I here? We'll answer the question, what is my purpose, in a million other ways that will never quite get it right. I can't tell you how many times I have been amazed at my own life's journey and taking the wrong path in my life because I forgot my true purpose in making wrong decisions in my life because I forgot my true purpose, in making decisions about my life that ended up being completely wrong because I had forgotten my purpose. I'm convinced that all of us suffer from that. In fact, nowadays, do you know what the really hip and cool phrase is? It used to be metrosexual. That was when the men dressed in very snappy clothes, clothes. But do you know what the name is now? Lumber sexual. Do you know why? Because these kids, these guys that are growing up constantly looking for their own identity, constantly trying to discover who they are, are now dressing like lumberjacks and being really he-men. Of course, they've never cut down a tree in their life but looking for purpose. We see the events going on in 
France and all across the world where our nation is and our world is gripped with this struggle within the Islamic world between the so-called moderates and the radical Islamists who want to wage jihad against everyone who disagrees with them. Just this past week in Paris, we saw the misguided purpose of men who missed it completely, which only proves, ladies and gentlemen, even the most sincere of us can be sincerely wrong. We can be sincerely wrong. We can be caught up in lesser purposes that we give all of our energy to. And we find ourselves never actually reaching the true potential of our lives. We can foolishly give our purpose away to nostalgia. Or we can foolishly give our purpose away to the modern understanding of what success is. We can foolishly give our purpose away to an ism or even a religion. And miss the true purpose of our life. That's the reason why Father John Romanides said, and this may come as a shock to some of you, that orthodoxy is not a religion. Orthodoxy is the cure for the sickness of religion. Because religion is humanity's attempt to fill their life up with the purpose of trying to make God happy. When it turns out, God's fine. God's not the one with the problem. God's not the one confused about his true purpose. God's not the one that comes to the end of his life wondering what he should have been or what he should have done. God is not the one who has regret. It is we humans who get to the point in our lives where we feel regret. I can't tell you, as my body begins to get older, The old joke that I tell often, if I'd have known I was going to live this long, I'd have taken better care of myself. It's us, it's we humans who live with regret. It's we humans who look back and examine the places where we missed it or we got close to it and didn't quite make it. And we say, boy, if I would have only, or if I would have just, or I wish I hadn't of, fill in the blank. When you forget your why, you lose your way. When you miss your purpose, you follow the wrong path. But our Orthodox faith invites us to laser in on our true purpose. St. Paul reveals to it in that passage that I just read you. And what does he say? He says, until we all attain the unity of the faith, the knowledge of the Son of God, mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. You see, brothers and sisters, the purpose of orthodoxy isn't to preserve anything other than the path to make you like Jesus Christ. That's the purpose of orthodoxy. That's why orthodoxy exists. To make you fit to live with God forever. That's the purpose of all of our rituals. That's the purpose of all of our prayers. That's the purpose of all of our actions, all of our vestments, all of our regular actions. The purpose of orthodoxy is to make you like Jesus Christ. Nothing less ever. And so what does God do? God gives his church ministries, apostles, prophets, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and every righteous spirit who has completed this life in faith. God gives his church every tool that you and I need to grow up to be like Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this morning, in this place, the purpose of Saints Raphael, Nicholas, and Irene Greek Orthodox Parish is nothing less ever than to help men and women 
become like Jesus Christ. Its purpose is not to preserve anything less than that reality, not to pour our energies in, into any lesser goal than that, but to pursue that one singular reality, that one purpose, that one sure why, with a commitment that says all other lesser loves fall by the wayside until we get that one purpose right. All the tools that we will need to accomplish this purpose, your true purpose, is right here. All the liturgies, all the prayers, the, bre the precious life-giving body and blood of Jesus Christ that we celebrate this day, all of the lessons, all of the homilies, God help us, all of the liturgies, all of the remembrances, all of the traditions, all of them have as their singular purpose to make you like Jesus Christ. Because that's why you were made in the first place. That's orthodoxy's goal. That's orthodoxy's purpose. That's orthodoxy's work. That's orthodoxy's labor. That's orthodoxy's reason for existence. That is not a religion, folks. This is a way of life that invites you to the humble confession that you need to discover your own purpose and allow all other lesser purposes to find a smaller place in your priority list until you finally have the courage to embrace this one true purpose. You were made to be like Jesus Christ. Nothing less. I confess to you, having this fall on my heart over and over and over again, this season of theophany has brought this back to me in a fresh and a new way to my own heart. To see the lengths that God will go to baptize His world with His eternal life, even submitting Himself to be a slave, submitting Himself to be a servant, to be baptized in water by a creature he made with his own hands. That kind of humility teaches me. That kind of humility challenges me. The humility of our Lord Jesus Christ, the humility of our God who loved us so much that he captured his world back from the enemy and now we recapture it to use it for God's glory forever. This is our purpose, folks. This is our why. May God grant us the courage to stay on this singular, purposeful path. Father Barnabas is the priest at the Saints Raphael, Nicholas, and Irene Greek Orthodox Church in Cumming, Georgia. Find out more at faithencouraged.org. That's faithencouraged.org.